Hey, what's up y'all? I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's time for me to get out and enjoy the mow. But I've been noticing something recently that's telling me that I need to sharpen my mower blades in. This is actually a question we get a lot leading from spring into summer because folks are starting to see the same thing I am and they wanna know what the deal is. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you about that a little bit later in the video, but for right now, we're gonna get right into it and I'm gonna show you how to sharpen your mower blade. Well, we're gonna start right off with a tip here, and it's one that I learned the hard way. When you take your mower blade off, and in this case, this time cutter has two, make sure you mark the ground side or which side faces down versus which side faces up. I've put my mower blade on backwards more than enough times, once on video. Now you can see these blades are definitely dull. They haven't been sharpened in over six weeks, which is a lot longer than I like to go. The primary tool I use for sharpening is this angle grinder. Now you don't have to get a fancy battery powered one like this. You can get a cheap one from Harbor Freight if you like. What I've found is, is that blade sharpening is the only thing I use this angle grinder for. So for me, it's a single purpose tool. Now for sharpening, I use a metal grinding disc and this one actually came with this angle grinder in the box. I've had it now for three years and it's still got plenty of life left in it. But that's what I use is the metal grinding disc. So you'll see it on your blade, all of them are like this, but you see how there's a bevel there, there's an angle. We do not want to destroy that angle. We wanna keep that angle. And so the idea is when you're grinding, you want to visualize and match this edge of the grinding wheel with that exact angle. We don't wanna change it. So the idea being, and you have to picture, if you picture this in your mind, you'll be able to do it. Your, your mind will tell your hand how to move and you'll be watching and observant too. Your first few passes may not be perfect, but if you'll see eventually you just learn it. It just comes natural. It's pretty easy to pick up that angle. And the idea is you just keep taking off even layers until this gets sharp. Watch. Now see, I got quite a few nickages in here. Normally I don't have to go back and forth that much. I can just do it in one direction like this a few times and it sharpens, but I've let this go a lot longer than I should. It's already getting sharper. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but I still have a little ways to go because I still have those nicks in there and I wanna try to get rid of a lot of those. And there we go. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is turn it over. And what'll happen is when you do that grinding, you'll get what are called burrs on this end and I can feel them. It's where the metal's kind of rounded over a little bit. And I just wanna knock those off. So I'm not really trying to do too much here. I just wanna knock that burr edge off. There we go. Now we'll do the other side. Now you're going to see this one's not as bad, so I'm not going to have to do all that grinding on it. However, you're going to see in the end, though, it may require me to do some more grinding when we uh, try to balance this blade out. But let's just go ahead and knock this out real quick. I sharpened a razor sharp. A lot of folks will tell you to go butter knife sharp, but I don't subscribe to that. I get my blades as sharp as I can. Now I do have a full nick out of the corner right there. I'm not gonna try to fix that. I'm just gonna let that ride, literally. But there we go, nice and sharp. 
Now once you've got both ends sharpened up, you're not done. You need to now balance the blade. Now you can get one of these fancy levelers cheap on Amazon. I actually have one, but the problem is every time I need to find it, I can't. Even though I know I always put it back in the same place, it's never there when I need it. So an easier way that won't get lost is just to stick a nail in the side of your workbench or in the wall, and then you can just balance your blade on that. This is plenty good to get the job done. So you can probably see this end is heavier here, and that this is the one that I didn't have to grind on as much, and I kind of figured that was gonna be the case, so I need to take some weight out of this side. We will call that close enough for government work right there. So there you go, that's how I sharpen my mower blades. I sharpen them about once a month. Now I cut twice a week. It's been about six weeks since I've sharpened those, so they were overdue for sure. And that's why we're gonna get into right now why you should sharpen your mower blades. But before I do, I just wanna say, this is how I do mine. The reason I sharpen my blades this way is because it's simple and it's easy. I try to make these types of tasks as simple and as easy as possible for you and for me because the easier something is, the more apt you are to do it. People don't wanna go underneath their mower, they don't wanna take off the, they don't wanna take the blades off, they're worried about torquing things or getting them on and off. There's all these things that, that kinda of stop people, right, from doing this important task. So my deal is if I can make it really simple for you and easy, you'll be more apt to do it more often. That's the idea. I'm sure there are many better ways to do this and people in the comments will tell you that, but this is the way that I've chosen to do it because it's simple and it works and it gets the job done. Now, how did I know my blades needed to be sharpened? Well, after a cut, I start to see this. So what that is that you're seeing is the blade is dull, and so instead of giving a nice clean cut to the grass, it's giving it this frayed cut, and the frays turn tan. And when you look at the lawn, now you're not gonna be able to see it here on this video, but I can see it. When you look at the lawn overall, there's like this tan cast to it. It doesn't look as shiny and bright and green as it should in the sun. And that is because you are looking at bazillions of those ripped tips. I once ripped my tip in college. Still haven't recovered from that one. So ripped tips look bad, but they also allow for introduction of things into the plant. A plant that is injured and open, just like you, when you have a cut, things can get in, bacteria, disease, fungus. It's the same with the lawn. When you have all of those ripped and frayed tips, it does allow for ingress of whatever, and we don't want that. The other thing is it takes longer for the grass to repair itself when it's ripped like that rather than when it's a clean cauterized cut from a sharp blade. So there you go, there's how you sharpen your blade and there's why you sharpen your lawnmower blades. And again, I do mine about once a month, but definitely it's important leading into summer because the grass is gonna start to harden off. It's not gonna be as soft as it is in the spring. And so it's gonna be more important to have that sharp blade when you cut. So hope this video has been helpful to you. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. And as always, we're gonna end with a beautiful sunset. This one from Anna Maria Island, Florida. I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut, and I'll see you in the lawn. i